Kaapstad ervaar een van die grootste droogtes in een lang tijd. En diegene met groenvingers is bekommerd. Tom Kinebarre is een vetplant specialist en het dat die oplossing. Tom, baie welkom. Ek sien baie uit. Baie dankie, Rochelle. Hoe het die waterskaarste mens as die tuine beinvloed? Well, people's gardens are looking very dry. The um, first thing to go is always the lawn. Um, definitely the first thing that needs to be removed from the garden is the lawn. Um, obviously, you know, people are losing trees and uh, flowers and shrubs are also looking a bit rough. So it has had a huge impact in the Western Cape now over the course of, of this last summer. What is the solution for those who have sickle metal tuine? Well, the first thing that needs, definitely needs to be removed is, is at least some of your lawn. Um, the lawn is now really starting to, to, to take up too much of our water resources. And uh, also it becomes you know, less of a maintenance issue at home. You know, a lawn is the most expensive surface to maintain. Um, so once people you know, get their heads around removing some of their lawn and perhaps removing some of the thirsty plants from their garden, then they can look at uh, certain alternatives. Can you give us a few ways how people can do it? Well, step one with removing your lawn is definitely to put down a good quality ground sheeting um, and then putting some sort of gravel or stone or pebble surface on top of that. And a lot of people are you know, not using the ground sheeting and putting down a mulch that will actually then uh, keep a lot of the moisture in the ground a bit more effectively. I've seen a few fed plants for us to bring. These specific ones that I've brought here are, are in pots, but obviously they will all do fine in the ground as well. I've just brought along some of my favourites here. Um, the speckworm over here is what everybody is quite familiar with. Um, it is a South African plant and they grow right throughout the east coast of South Africa and you'll find them in many people's gardens. My son and I have been doing bonsai with the, the, um, the speck boomer and you know, keeping them in small pots and trimming them and shaping them. And they're quite attractive and they're bulletproof and it is the plant that converts the most carbon dioxide into oxygen out of any plant in the whole world. The leaves are edible as well, so you can actually uh, eat the leaves and uh, they taste a little bit like gherkins, but they're very good for you, they're full of vitamin C. And this little fellow over here in the purple pot is one of my favourites. It's a Kleister cactus. It comes from uh, Mexico and uh, it grows like a crinkle cut chip. So it, it's wavy and interesting. And obviously I like to use a lot of colour in the pots around, around my home and that kind of jazzes things up a bit. And uh, then my mum's old brass bowl over here, I've uh, put a little collection of cacti in that's on our table on our stoop and uh, quite bulletproof. I think I water it once a month and it looks great. Tom, how many other people do it in a fed plant paradise? Well, that's my speciality. Uh, that's what keeps me out of mischief. I go to people's homes and uh, transform their, their gardens from really thirsty gardens into fairly bulletproof gardens that require very little. So I do a lot of work at people's holiday homes and guest houses and hotels. And obviously where I'm based on the West Coast, it's very windy and it's very hot and it's very dry. Um, so we have to be selective about what we plant there because of, of the constant you know, punishment from the elements. And um, we transform people's rather dull spaces into something quite spectacular to look at. There's a huge variety of, of succulents available now in South Africa from various parts of the world. And uh, so many different colors and textures and uh, you know, interesting shapes and unusual plants uh, that are available. And, uh, we're now using all of that colour and, and uh, variety in people's gardens. What will you say is the advantage of a fed plant tuin? Well, definitely a, a, a more manageable water bill, uh, firstly. Um, we've worked at homes where water bills have been in excess of 8,000 rand a month and we brought those down to approximately seven or 800 rand a month. And also it attracts a lot of bird life in the winter time when all of the fed plankies are flowering. So you have a lot of sugar birds and a lot of other birds coming in in the winter time especially. Low maintenance and if the preparation is done correctly, uh, you'll have fewer weeds coming up and um, you'll be in need of somebody to come and, and help you out in the garden um, a lot less than what you would usually have to. Tom, thank you for a few good events. Thank you, Rochelle. It was a pleasure to meet you.